da, 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 da. <laughs> hey guys, it is Bob, and welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. I can't get that sound out of my head. I lay there at night with it going, and it's like I can't sleep. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a great day, actually. I went to Portillo's Hot Dogs. I don't get to that too often. If you're not from Chicago, you may not have ever heard of it, um, Portillo's, or you might not ever have heard of Italian beef sandwiches. Italian beefs, to describe them, because I hear it's just a, more of a Chicago thing, is kind of like a French dip. If you've had like the shaved beef on a white uh, French type loaf, and then I got the combo. So it's the Italian beef. Then he's sticking Italian sausage in there, and it's topped with this Italian seasoning, and then. What makes it even better, they take the whole sandwich and they dip it into this like juice that's it's all Italian seasoned and stuff. And when you, the, the bread is just a soggy mess and it's dripping on your arms and it's all of your face and you're wiping your mouth and it's great. And it's a healthy alternative. <laughs> so if you've ever been to Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. It's really good. Um, anyways, enough of that. I did want to announce really quick, because I'm really excited to let you guys know, I have started a Patreon page, and a link to that will be in the comments section below this video. If you've seen my videos before, and if you're at all interested in what I'm doing, please check it out, just to see what I'm offering. There's going to be a lot of behind-the-scenes content. There's going to be things maybe aren't even related to uh, music videos, but it's going to be a lot, and it'll be a great place for us to... Um, kind of chat. I'll take a lot of recommendations from you guys. There'll be shout outs. There'll be all sorts of stuff. So if you've liked some what I'm doing, please check it out. I would really appreciate your support. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a artist, an artist, <laughs> that you guys have requested for quite a while. The, the singer is more set. And like I said, I've been a, had a good number of recommendations of, of this singer. So I just couldn't say no any longer. She is a Filipino singer and apparently a former songwriter, um, producer, and I think even an actress. So basically, I'm going to classify her as an underachiever. <laughs> I wish I had that much energy to do all that. Um, her vocal uh, range is a, she's a lyric soprano uh, with five octaves and four notes. So that's huge. And I guess that makes her the singer with the widest vocal range in the Philippines. So congratulations to her. The song that I'm going to be reacting to is Akin Kanalang. I think I'm saying it right. That translates to Please Be Mine. So I am really looking forward to this. And uh, let me get everything set up, and we're going to jump right into it, okay? Hold on. I always like it when uh, I have a new artist to listen to. So uh, this is one of those videos that I get to do that. So again, this is more set singing Akin Kanalang. I, I may be butchering that. I apologize if I am, but I'm trying. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with this and we'll see how it goes. Let me turn this on. Here we go. Singing out of an RV. <laughs> Wish 1075. <laughs> Thank you. 
She's got a pretty voice. I like her. I gotta stop it. Sorry, I, I'm, the song's getting to an end. What an amazing place to pause, huh? That came out of nowhere. Um, what the heck was that a whistle note? And how did she pull it off by singing it, I believe, in like the same breath as an earlier note she hit? Um, I'm not sure. It looked like it was one breath, but just as where she would have taken the breath, they changed the camera angle. So if she did take a breath, it was the shortest, quickest breath in the history of music. So I'm going to say it was the same breath because she pulled off a long note and then went into that high note, uh, that whistle that was crazy. Um, even more amazing, I think, was that she managed to whip out a smile at the very end while obviously having no air left in her lungs, um, all while sitting comfortably down in like what looked like an office chair. Um, talk about uh, confidence. Um, she had no doubt that she knew she wasn't going to have a problem with that because she was just sitting there smiling, enjoying it. You know, listening to that, especially the start of it, it sounded so much like a song I know. And for the life of me, as I was listening to this, I, I'm like, what song was that? What song was that? Just the beginning. The rest of the song really didn't. I'm going to figure that out. And um, before this video is over, I will let you know what song. And uh, maybe I'll even compare them so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and play this to the end. She's got a really pretty voice. And I can see now why they say she's got such a wide range. Because that last note was insane. Okay, here we go. Didn't see that one coming. Sorry about that. I thought the song was over. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> talk about bad timing on my part. Um, you know, in the past, I've called voices angelic. Uh, but man, this was legit angelic. Like I said, I almost cut it off at the end because I didn't know that she was going to hit another one of those high notes. 
And then what the heck, she had other thoughts. <laughs> so good thing I let it right out or I would have been hearing from you guys. I thought she had a um, a nice run earlier in the in the song, but then she, I, I made some type of comment. I don't know what I said. There was one that just lasted for ever. Um, every time I think this girl is going to end a note, she just goes on to another note without taking a breath. It's pretty amazing. I think she woke up one day and just decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to sing a uh, never-ending run that just goes on and on and on, <laughs> all while sitting in the comfort of an office chair. Um, and you know what I, I liked about this? All kidding aside, I like the placement of the whistles. Sometimes singers uh, overindulge those notes where it doesn't come across as sincere or, quite honestly, even necessary in a song. The first one that she did surprised me because I didn't see that coming. The second one completely caught me off guard. She didn't overplay her hand, though, on either one of those. And it was perfect pitch, perfectly delivered, and I think fit in perfectly with the song. Um, I haven't even gotten to the lyrics yet, but let me do this. Let me uh, regroup here, and I'll be back for my final thoughts, and we'll go over a few things, okay? All right. Hold on, I'll be right back. So I took some time <laughs> to figure out what song that was at the very beginning of the song reminded me of. I have a little bit of an OCD issue, so I had to figure it out. Because if I didn't, that would be a blank spot and I'd have to fill it somehow. So it turns out the singer that I was thinking about is Olivia Newton-John. And it was on one of her early albums. I don't know if you followed her or not, but the song is Who Are You Now? So what I'm going to do, uh, just to prove to you, and you may say I'm totally wrong and they sound nothing like the other, but I'm going to do a short little couple second cut from Olivia. Then I'm going to do a short little cut from Morissette. I'm going to put them side by side. And you tell me if there's any resemblance at all. <laughs> How's that? So here we go. Take a listen. Somebody said all right what'd you think am i a little am i a little right do they sound a little bit alike um i think so hearing it now i i am surprised though that a song that i haven't heard probably for 15 years would pop in my mind after hearing this that's kind of wild so let's forget all that and let's just talk about uh this um, set aside her pitch, um, set aside those mind-blowing uh, runs that she put she put out in this video, and let's just talk about her voice. Bottom line, she created a masterpiece here, period. Her voice is ridiculously good. I can see now why she has like the biggest vocal range in the Philippines, but that's not even it. It's just... It's a beautiful voice. It's like heavenly, angelic, like I said. Regarding the lyrics, uh, it's really such an emotional song. We have all, and I, and if anyone who says they haven't is, is wrong, we've all been in a situation where we just really like somebody, especially when we were younger. Um, if it was now, I wouldn't confess it here on video because my wife might watch this. <laughs> but we, we all grew up where we really wanted somebody and they just didn't feel the same way in return. Um, I had one specifically, I, was, I think I was like 16. I was really young and I just fell for this girl. And like, oh, and she just never, she never really had it to give because she was going through some le legitimately life-threatening uh, illnesses and she wasn't in a position to worry about some guy like me. So, but anyways, it's heartbreaking. No matter what the cause, it's heartbreaking. And I think that's where the song is uh, coming from. And I think to me, that's what made it so powerful. Listening to these younger singers, extremely talented singers lately, has been so wonderful. There's been a bunch of them. This song really wasn't about her amazing voice. <laughs> I think it was about blowing our minds because I, I think that's what she did. Um, I've reviewed um, a lot of videos and this one is pretty high up there. I, th I really think as far as potential 
and me sitting here and thinking, wow, this person could put out some good music. This is way up there. And I'm really looking forward to hearing some more uh, videos from her. And I'm asking you guys to give me some more recommendations. This was kind of the song that a lot of people recommended. But if you have some other recommendations for me to listen to her, please let me know. Because I would really like to hear some. And I really, I really think I'm going to be blown away as I hear more of her music as time goes on. So, all right, listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that'd be even better. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.